Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews with special guest, Sean from Nerd Sense. Hi, you did it the right way, hooray. <laughs> Yay, I remembered. Um, so we have a very cool, interesting take on a beer review, especially a joint beer review. We have two different years, two different vintages of Christmas Bomb. I have the 2017 and... I have the 2018 and this was not planned. <laughs> yeah, my local beer store had a bunch of these out and I thought this was a 2018. So, yay! Yeah, we got on the camera and Kyle's like, why does your bottle look different than mine? And I was like, why does your bottle look different than mine? <laughs> <laughs> so, first thing, I want to talk about the bottle. Yeah. How cool is this? They have two pictures and it spot the differences. So, like, mine has 14 differences. Mine and you know 22. after this uh, review, I'm going to look for all 14. I don't believe that it is, though. Have you looked at yours? I've, I've only found one uh, in mine. For example, Santa's holding a bottle here. Oh. And then he's holding uh, a tulip glass there. I think I'm just really bad at these things. Or snifter. Mine literally looks like the, exactly the same. Like, And I've been doing – now this is going to sound – I've been doing highlight magazines with, with, my, with my four-year-old, so I'm like, I should know how to do this. <laughs> I should be better at this. I was just thinking of doing the highlight magazines at the doctor's office yeah. as a kid. And I'm not trying to brag, but I've already found another one. Damn There's it. one less cookie here. Oh, oh, I did find one. The bunny's going the different way. Okay, okay. After this, I'm definitely going to go look. look and for yours has 22? Yeah. Wow. 2018 is so much better already. <laughs> All right, well, should we crack them open yeah, and get going? Let's do it. Alright. So it's a uh, an imperial style aged with spices, I assume. Well, I mean I shouldn't assume that these have the same spices in them. Yeah, I don't so I Googled it too because usually when like the bombs say it says everything they have in it, like but this doesn't actually say coffee, but I Googled it and it says it definitely has coffee. Because, okay. So I think all the I well, I'm assuming the bomb is just a base beer, right? Like I'm sure it's the same base style. I'm going to also assume they put the same adjuncts in and then add Christmas ones like cinnamon, nutmeg. Yeah. That's my guess. And uh, it's actually the reason I wanted – well, you suggested it first that, of a couple options because Mike doesn't like coffee, so I figured it's has coffee. In it. But co I had a bunch ahead of it. It's going down quick. Yep, mine, mine is pretty much gone. Yeah. And I poured the uh, whole bottle. That's similar. Yeah. So, yeah, it definitely looks like an imperial stout. It's dark. You know, that head's going away fast. Yep. Let me get a, a logo out of the way. Yeah, I mean, these are dark beers. Yeah, this is pitch black. I can see myself in it. <laughs> it's got that mocha color head. Yeah. You know, yeah, it definitely looks apart. Uh, I see some legs on the side, so it's definitely... So, oh, yeah, what's yours? 13%. How about yours? Same, same. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be the same base. Yeah. Cool. Uh, get into an aroma, or yeah. you want to look at it some more? Yeah, no, let's get an aroma. All right. I have, I'm not going to say, yeah, I have one spice that is dominating over the other ones. I want to say maybe allspice. For me, it's cinnamon, and I had one of those fairly recently, and it, to me, it, I definitely get cinnamon first, but it would make sense, a Christmassy spice, yeah. yeah. Well, all spice is kind of like it has, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. I get a little bit of cinnamon, but I get, I get a good amount of coffee too. Behind the, behind the spice though, and that would make sense that I would get less coffee right. in a year old because coffee, I think, of adjuncts fades quicker yeah. than most. And I actually get a little bit of the pepper, which surprises me, because um, sometimes in these, you know, it's very hit or miss. Yeah. Like pick up the uh, pepper aroma. Yeah, it's very interesting the way that this is layered. It's sort of like spice, pepper, and then it goes into the – and then, then you get the coffee. And then I actually, yeah, get a little bit of that style. I, I get some uh, vanilla as well. I'm not really getting the vanilla. No? I don't yeah, want, want to remind the viewers. These are two different yeah, things. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, wow, these guys don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, they're, they could be further apart. <laughs> no, um, no, there's definitely some overlap. And, uh, yeah, so you're saying decent level of coffee. Not – me, I, I, I'd say that if Mike smelled this, he wouldn't be as offended. Gotcha. Okay, okay. But but I'm always looking for more coffee in a lot of beers, so that's probably just mm – -hmm. um, do you get any booziness? No. 
if I really stick my nose in and give it like a big whiff, I get a little bit of ethanol, but I have to like really, really try to get it. And again, a year age would mellow the uh, ABV, right, you know, right. that alcohol yeah. Uh, aroma. Yeah. It, it smells good. I mean, I definitely with a yeah. year on it, I'm not, um, you know, it's not like a mess. It's not, it doesn't, you know, smell off or anything like that. In right. fact, it definitely doesn't have any of that kind no. of stuff going, which is great. Now, did you have it last year? I honestly don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't remember don't... if I had it either. The bottle, that bottle doesn't look familiar to me though. So maybe I probably didn't then. Knowing me, I feel like if I did have at least out of a bottle, I would have remembered. Yeah. You know, like the last so... one I remember, it was like a Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone spoof. Mm, yeah, I think so. That's the last, uh, but like the, the compare, I know I would have sat down and found the differences. Right. Like, and I don't remember doing it. I might've had it on draft. Fair point. So yeah, no, I'm excited. Yeah. Shall we get a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Right. Hey, cheers, Sean. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay. That's delicious. I'll say that first off. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm liking it with a year on it. Um, similar, it's, it's different than what I got in the aroma the most. There is something I get the most of in the taste. Do you have something that, like it's sticking out? Boozy cinnamon. Just beating. Well, okay. This is actually a little hotter with the pepper than like, I didn't really get it in the aroma. And then the second most for me would be the cinnamon, that boozy cinnamon. Yep. The pepper? I actually get a decent amount of pepper in this, like a lot. Hmm. I'm not like, is it, is like, is it like, hot hot pepper like you're getting or are you just getting the pepper um it doesn't really get hot until about three quarters of the way through but it, it's not like um it's not a burning sensation it's okay. not like a, i need some water to chase it down kind of a thing but it's you know what it is it's like a cinnamon hot ball like i'm getting oh, yeah. like what you said with the cinnamon the booze and the pepper all working together and it kind of has that like fireball yeah. vibe for me that's so weird. I'm not getting much. Yeah, it's more like if I get the cinnamon, it's at the back, and like maybe I get that. Like, but it's very subdued, which is that's interesting. Okay. Now I'm not getting um, coffee. Super slight roast. How about you? With, especially with your nose that has much coffee compared to mine, anyway. I'm getting a little bit near the back. It's a little bit. So I'm getting. So you said you got the vanilla nose. I'm getting more of a. If I let it hit the back of my palate and let it sit. I get a little bit of like a vanilla coffee. It sort of reminds me of a very, very um, subdued version of like PM Dawn. Like, you know how you get that little bit of sweetness with it? Like, you yep. start, it's not that coffee explosion, but it gives me that type of, it feels like if someone watered down PM Dawn. Okay. That, that's the coffee I'm kind of getting from it. So it's, so, yeah. so, so it's very, so it's more, it's, it seems like it's maybe this is more of a, of a light roast because, because PM Dawn, you can tell is kind of a darker roast and, and, and it's cold brewed. So, so it's going to be a little bit more bitter, but yeah, this yeah. is maybe, maybe the coffee they use as a, as a lighter slash medium roast. Yeah. I wonder, it's something just off topic, but with these coffee beers, cold brew coffee added versus is it aged on coffee beans? Like how all these processes and different breweries, how they do it, it. I'd like to know more about it actually. That's yeah. actually a good point. Yeah. Cause it's gotta be way different. Like if, if Trillium's dumping in cold brew and their beers yeah. versus aging it. And I think the first time I had PM Dawn, I was like, I love cold brew. I was like, this tastes like cold brew. Like, it, 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 you can tell the difference. Um, and then, yeah, the vanilla I got and the aroma, I get a little bit in the taste. It, it, yeah, really, it's that, like that fireball kind of a stout without being overly roasty yeah. for me. Uh, alcohol, are you getting that at all in the um, taste? Or? Not really. I am starting to get the heat from the pepper, though. Not like, okay. not not like super spicy, but I can feel it in the back of my throat. Like when you eat something a little bit spicy, and it kind of just lingers there. So that's interesting. That's how I like these pepper beers, just kind of building on it, building on the back of my throat. Yeah, when I drink um, a beer, I don't want my I don't want to be like my mouth on fire and not want to finish it. Right? Yeah, like Is it, those kind of pepper beers suck, as yeah, far as I'm concerned. Pretty much. I remember the first time I ever had a habanero sculpin, and it was like the worst time of my life like the guy the guy asked me he's like do you want a sample i was like no that's i love sculpin i'm like any variant's gonna be great and i'm like this is awful 
<laughs> um, so I took mine right out of my beer fridge at 55 degrees. And... Uh, mine's probably a little colder, um, but, but I okay. had it out for a little bit before we started. So I would say it's it's definitely warmed up. It's um, it's not like freezing. It's probably close. I'd probably say it's close to 60, maybe a little less. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not. The reason I bring it up is um, Joe from the Beer Patrol. Check him out, everyone. He's awesome. He Such is. a nice guy. Great beer content. He had sent me some of his mystery beers. One of them was the Chocobeza. Right. And I, I didn't know what it was, so I drank it pretty cold on camera. As it warmed off camera, that's where I got more pepper. So that's why I was wondering if maybe mine was just warmer mm. than yours. That's why I was getting more pepper. Point. But, um, yeah, I mean, okay, I'm liking this aged. And, again, I don't think I had this fresh last year. Do you think drinking that fresh is how you would like it or prefer? Or do you think it needs a little bit of time to melt some you know, flavors together or what? I think it could use some time to melt some flavors together. It okay. seems like it's – the stuff you get, you kind of get it individually versus sort of mixed. You can kind of pick it out that way. So I would like to, so I, I actually bought two bottles. It was two per. So I'm, so I'm definitely okay. going to age one. Um, just, yeah, because I think after a year, probably get a little bit. Probably drink. This is not that it's drinking hard, but it's. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> <laughs> it turned into a Halloween episode all of a sudden. Sense. Oh, come on. <laughs> literally the motion sensor is right in front of me and i'm moving oh, wow. i didn't realize you were on a motion sensor i yeah I, I installed one down here because mike and i always forget to turn the lights off whenever we're doing recordings oh so i did that on purpose okay there we go was... so since i was there right yeah i think so yeah okay i was gonna say i don't remember having a motion sensor yeah, when yeah, I, was there. I, I think it was yeah after that because yeah we would leave, i'd leave the lights on and leave the, the things unplugged and yeah so i just had put this in um crap uh, yeah i think for a little bit with um yeah I, I i think a year on this could could blend the flavors a little bit better and it'd be a little bit more of a bomb like I, yeah like i know when i've had party bombs before like any of any of the variants like it's always like usually some just crazy amalgamation of flavors you know what i found that speaking of bombs i found the one that you remember the one remember the first trade we ever did you sent me a bottle of barrel aged bomb. This was obviously oh, yes, like yes. way, way long ago. I never drank it. It's still it's still in the fridge out there. It was buried behind really? something. So I'm like, oh, I wonder how that's aged. That's that, that's probably gonna be ridiculous. I bet fantastic. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be amazing. I forgot about that. That was part of the first trade. Yeah. Um what do when you were doing the I'm, I'm getting a little bit of ginger. What, do you remember was that a spice added when you looked at up the coffee? I didn't see that, but I could see okay. the ginger. I get like a little bit like almost candied, prickly ginger. Yeah, I think as it warms, that that or you just did inception into my mind, but I can see the ginger. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I don't know if I've released the video yet, but I, I was trying to say inception about it, something about I was describing the beer and I said interception and then I caught it like thirty <laughs> seconds later, like, no, I think I said interception. I'm at inception. Yeah. Well when I said it, I was like, Do I say incepted or did he intercept? inception me i don't even <laughs> i did a uh a beer review yesterday one of the ones that brad sent me and it looked kind of like stonehenge and i said stone hedge like with a d <laughs> and i was like no i think it's stonehenge and then you know and i never do it i'm like i'm gonna stop recording because i hadn't popped it yet oh, okay i'm yeah. like i'm gonna and i'm gonna start over again because <laughs> i'm like i gotta double check anyway this is riveting for people watching <laughs> um, like, oh, beer tubers after dark <laughs> <laughs> beer tubers Beer tubers screw up stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like bomb. I like bomb a lot, and it's it's like one of those beers because now it's a beer I can get easily. I never think to buy it. Same. But it's a style I love. I, I love these these spicy adjunct kind of like Mexican chocolate stouts, and and bomb delivers. It's available. It's a little pricey, but when you look at some of these other breweries, what they charge for oh, yeah. bottles, it's it's pretty similar. Yeah. You know, these adjuncts add up. I, I get it. You know. Oh yeah, it, it makes sense why they're so expensive. Like they're putting so much stuff in it. Like and then the the barrels alone. Like if, if people complain complain about price, then they're not really like taking into account everything that that's going into the ingredients. I mean, just to brew an imperial stout, you you're upping the ingredients, and then you throw in things like cinnamon. I mean, vanilla beans are expensive. I mean, all this stuff, all these adjuncts that they're putting in, I and mean, it, it does it adds up. I get it. Yep. But. Yeah, for me, it's a it's a winner with a year on it. I would gladly uh, go back in time and try, uh, try it fresh, but 
I'm liking this a lot now. It, it goes down dangerous for 13. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. With <laughs> yeah, it does. Right? <laughs> Especially yeah. for it being 422 in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to put up some. A buddy of mine's coming over tomorrow. He's big into Halloween decorations or uh, Christmas decorations. So I got to put up some some stuff so he doesn't judge me. So <laughs> this will be very fat. I'll be festive for, nice. for that. Nice. Uh, cool, man. Yeah, so yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, I know this will be on my channel, but you did all the technical stuff. So I really appreciate that. And uh, check out the guys at NerdSense. We don't have Mike, um, but uh, you guys definitely need to check these guys out. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Kyle with No Hype Beer Reviews. I'm Sean with NerdSense. And uh, we will definitely be linking to their channel. You should be hitting subscribe to their channel. You should be watching their channel. All right, this was a lot of fun, man. It was yeah. good seeing you. Cheers. Cheers.